it was one of the best times of my life, to be honest. I had the flexibility to kind of work when I wanted and do the work when I wanted. I visited New Zealand, I think, four times. So I was really lucky in that respect to kind of travel everywhere. I'm Jenna Sutherland. I'm a lecturer at Leeds Beckett University and I completed my PhD at the University of Leeds in 2020. My PhD was looking at proglacial lakes in relation to glacier dynamics in New Zealand um, in the past, so kind of thousands of years ago. My research involved a lot of field work um, out in New Zealand, so looking at sediments, looking at landforms, um, looking at the landscapes over there, and then once I had that data, like mapping it, uh, through a GIS software on the computer. But it was really broad and I learned like a variety of techniques and skills um, throughout that, which I still use uh, today in my current job. During my PhD, I kind of went to a lot of conferences to present and I wasn't always that confident, but now obviously day to day when I'm lecturing, I present all the time. So um, it really gave me the confidence to be able to stand up in front of a group of people or a class of students um, and, and present um, in what, what I know. I still do research now, like linked to the same thing, so I'm still using the techniques from my PhD and my current research to publish papers, um, etc, etc. There's so many different aspects and elements to a PhD outside of the actual research itself that are really important, like as important as the kind of degree. And that's where you'll kind of make your connections and your friends outside of the research. You know, if you take opportunities related to training workshops, field courses, um, skills, um, training, all sorts of things really. But try and get the mo make the most of your PhD by saying yes to anything that comes your way, even if it's a bit scary.